Well, the Green Bay Packers will host the Detroit Lions on Sunday in a key NFC North battle with Green Bay coming in with a 5-2 and two record, Detroit with a 6-1 and one record, both off uh, wins last Sunday. And uh, I know some of you out there are probably confused on which way to go with this game or even should you go over or under uh, because of the uncertain status of starting quarterback Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers. Love last week injured his groin, was forced to leave the game and did not return in that 30-27 win at Jacksonville. Uh, Malik Willis once again uh, took over under center and uh, did a fine job for Green Bay. And quite frankly, Willis has played pretty good uh, when given the opportunity this year in, in replacing uh, Jordan Love, who has been injured on a couple of occasions now. In any event, folks, uh, stay tuned. I'll have the analysis and a winning total on this game in just a moment. You'll see a like button right underneath. And I would hope that you would hit that like button, folks, because since week three of the NFL season, I've gone 18 and six right here on Wager Talk TV on my NFL free pick videos. That's good for 74%. Two and two last week, still 18 and six. Uh, and folks, and also, um, you'll see a subscribe button below. I mean, I already gave you 18 and six in the NFL since week three on Wager Talk TV. And I'm not the only. A uh, handicapper who wins on a consistent basis here. We have 34 other great handicappers over at Wager Talk. Many of them appear weekly and daily right here on Wager Talk TV. So hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to do so. And while you're at it, click on that alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be reminded immediately upon any of our uh, great content going up on our great channel. All right, right now the Detroit Lions are a three and a half point favorite and the total is 48 and a half. And as I alluded to previously, I'm going to focus my efforts uh, on the total in this game. Green Bay, uh, like I said, they're coming off that 30 to 27 win at Jacksonville, easily going over the total. While the Detroit Lions, despite having a little over 200 yards of total offense, uh, coming off a 52-14 home win against the Tennessee Titans. Detroit had over 300 yards of kick return uh, yards, I should say. Over 300 kick return yards, specifically. Easy for you to say, folks. Anyway, uh, the Lions now have gone over the total in their last four games. In those four contests, averaged 63 points per game. This is the first meeting between these division rivals this year. Met twice last year, as always, and both games went over the total with a combined average of 52.5 points scored per game. Since last year, the Detroit Lions have played 4-0 to the over on the road whenever the number was between 45 and 51, and those four games averaged 63.5 points per game. The Green Bay Packers have gone over the total in their last six division home games Whenever the total's been between 42 and 50 and coming off a game in which they scored 31 or less, they scored 30 last week at Jacksonville. And those six games uh, average a combined 56.2 points per game. I have an NFL betting angle as it relates to the total. Not a big sample size, but effective nonetheless. Anytime you have an NFL team like Detroit that scored 50 points or more in the previous game, and they covered as a double-digit favorite while doing so. They played 6-0 and to the over if the total was 49-and-a-half or less, which it is in this particular instance. And those six games league-wide uh, average a combined 60.8 points per game. And that, that betting angle, uh, the six games that all went over the total have all taken place since 1980. So as you can see, over the last 45 seasons, only six times has this situation arisen. Every time it's gone over the total, and uh, those six games once again averaged 60.8 points per game. And again, the other uh, caveat is that total has to be 49 and a half or less. And right now, uh, the total we have on this game is 48 and a half. We're going to go Green Bay and Detroit over 
the total of 48 and a half on Sunday, November 3rd in the NFL. Uh, college basketball is going to be starting next week. The NBA is already underway. Uh, had another winner last night in the NBA uh, as I had the Houston Rockets uh, game to go under 225 and a half and went, uh, I believe they only scored 212 in that game. Easy winner. Uh, NBA folks, 60 and 37, 62% with my NBA premium picks since uh, February 23rd of this year. My college basketball and NBA overall, uh, going back to last season, uh, 75 and 44, 63% run in over that course of time made a profit of $9,234. And don't forget my college football, 113 and 78 since uh, December 2nd of 2022, uh, a net profit of over $8,000. And that's good for number one at Wager Talk during that course of time in regards to money earned. So that's a big sample size, 113 and 78. That's a net profit of over $8,000. And that goes back to 12-2 of 2022, folks. So no fluke there. And, of course, again, number one ranked in that in money earned category in college football over that almost two-year period of time. Uh, great special going on right now. You can get $50 off either your uh, our NFL or college football annual packages. And I'm a little bit biased, so I would hope that you would take advantage of that with me. And uh, my direct link, as you see right below, is wt.buzz slash rb. Here's the thing, folks. All you need to do at checkout is use the promo code FBALL50. That's FBALL50. And uh, you will get the NFL annual package. If you use that, it'll take your package from $429 to $379 in college football. Uh, you would go from $329 to $279. I told you how good I'm doing in college football, number one over the last two years, folks. Uh, so you can't get better than that. $279 when you use that promo code, and that will take you right through the college football championship game, and the NFL annual package will take you right through the Super Bowl. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.